So we've just generated $400,000 in the last 30 days with our Shopify dropshipping store. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Camille Satan and as the Ecom King. I've got such a great video for you guys because I'm going to be showing you step by step on how we achieved $400,000 in 30 days. Now the reason why I'm so excited about this video is because I keep hearing people waffle on on Twitter, dropshipping's dead, yet yeah, we've just been able to achieve these numbers so that makes no sense. Now I'm also going to be leaving a cheat sheet that contains all of the email marketing marketing templates. All of the templates throughout this video that are worth around about $30,000 will be given out for free once we hit 3,000 likes on this video. So guys, the first thing that I want to show you as promised in the intro is all of the proof. So as you guys can see on the screen, in the last 30 days of this store, we've achieved $385,000. Now this isn't showing all of the revenue because there's other revenue coming from different platforms, but just on Shopify, $385,000. And if I refresh the screen, which I've just done, you're going to see that all the numbers have just stayed the same. And you can also see that our online store conversion rate is 3.08. That is above industry standards. And that is because of the website layout that we chose to use and the type of marketing creatives that we used. Now you can also see how many add to carts we got, reach checkout sessions converted, the total orders, and you can also see the average order value. Now this is a lot higher than the typical dropshipping products that people sell, which is between 20 and 40 to $50. This one is at around about $60. And you can see here, sales by channel online store is all of it. There's no draft orders, no sweet upsell. Everything's come through the online store. Now, before I actually get into the main strategy in this video on how we scale this product through Facebook ads and email marketing, in terms of how we found the product, we actually use the same strategies that I taught you guys in the last few videos on product research, using Shop Plus, using Afterlib, and all these other methods. So I've got some really exciting news for you guys. I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway. So the store that I showed case in this video as an example i'm going to be giving that away i'm going to be giving the creatives away i'm going to be giving the emails away now that's all worth around about three thousand dollars that i've gone into building all of these different assets so if you want to win the store the product the creatives everything then as soon as we've hit three thousand five hundred likes and you've left a comment why you want to win and you've liked the video i'll be announcing the winner on my instagram story so guys let's jump into the fun part that you've all been waiting for which is you recreating and copying this whole strategy strategy for your own dropshipping store. So the first thing that I want to cover is the Facebook ad strategy. Now, for those that are asking, the only ad platform that we're using is Facebook ads for this whole case study. So you can see I'm inside of the ads manager and I've got three campaigns here created. Now, throughout this whole video of me showcasing what we did to create the success, I am going to be using a demo dummy product and a demo dummy account to show you everything. That way, I'm not revealing our store and our product because we want to keep it private. So guys, when it came to the Facebook Facebook ads testing strategy. I'm using the same strategy that I covered two weeks ago on this channel. So I'll leave a link to the description of the Facebook testing strategy. I will just give you a quick overview of how we do it just in case you want a quick glimpse. So what we did is we created a campaign, an ABO campaign with 10 different ad sets and there's four different creatives in each ad set. Now each ad set is very broad. So we did website, maximize conversion, sales as the optimization. We also did between five to 10 10 to $15, depending on how much your product costs. We set them to midnight the next day, age 21 to 65. We do one interest per ad set and we want the audience size to be above 50 million. And then when it came to ad position, we're using the Advantage Plus ad positions. And then when it came to locations, we were doing top 15, which is Europe and the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand. And then when it came to the ads, we actually ran four different offers. So you can see here, Creative 1, Creative 2, Creative 3, Creative 4, Creative 5. So we ran five different creatives under each ad set and we were doing image ads, carousel ads, and we're doing different offers and angles. Now I actually made a video about a week ago talking about how to create different offers and angles. And this is why it's so important because you can see here in the ads manager, this is where you want to be testing different marketing angles and different offers. Now, when it came to scaling our winning interests, our winning ad sets, what we do is we create a brand new campaign. We call it winning scaling. And how we set this one up is we have this on sales. We also have it on advantage campaign budget. We set the budget between 50 and a hundred dollars more than on how many ad sets we're adding. So for example, I've moved five of the winning interests into this campaign. Now there could have been 30 interests in a campaign that I'm testing in, but I moved the five winners. And when I say five winners, it meant they had to create a ROAS between three and six, and they had to have consistent sales for at least six days. So 
let me repeat that again guys what a winning ad set and interest is is an ad set that can perform over four to six days and generate between a three and six ROAS consistently over those dates now once we hit those criteria if we dive into the ad set level you can see here I've called this one interest winner two website selected the pixel then you can see a setup for next day now the country worldwide target and this is so important so we've gone from doing the top 15 countries to doing worldwide but we're excluding Italy Mexico Pakistan India basically countries that have got a lower power spend meaning that they haven't got as much money to spend we're going to exclude those now I've only mentioned a few here but like I said in the intro if we hit 3,000 likes on this video I will add a cheat sheet with all the countries we targeted plus the ones we minus like excluding basically the reason why we've gone from top 15 to worldwide minus a few countries is because we want to try and hit even more countries with our product so that's why we're doing worldwide targeting and because Facebook's machine learning is so good right now you can target worldwide on a hot pixel meaning that there's a lot of data and it can find really good new customers now when it came to age we did 18 to 65 and then where it says detail target advantage this is where you want to add your winning interest into this area language put all languages and then when it came to ad position you want this on advantage advertising plus so basically inside of the ad set level what we've done is we've used the winning interest we've changed it to worldwide and we're also increasing the campaign budget to basically try and spread that winning ad set and interest from the original campaign now if we actually look at the ad level itself you can see we've gone from five creatives in the testing to three we've got offer one offer two offer three now these are the winning offers from the original testing campaign now i'm going to show you some examples of some offers that we tested with our product so as you guys can see on my computer screen, I'm inside of Photoshop and I've done it this way to show you loads of different offers that we tried. Again, I'm using a hypothetical product as the example, but I'm using the same offers that we use to actually make loads of money with. So you can see the first one here is called Cyber Monday. Sale is on now, up to 50% off this week. Here is an image of the product. We've got this fancy looking Cyber Monday text with this really beautiful background. The next offer we had was Black Friday. Sale is on now, up to 50% off. Calming rings, an image of the two products that we're selling on two different people the next one again is a black friday offer but in a different format the image of the woman wearing it is bigger another offer that we had is in ugc format which is 9 by 16 now the last offer that we ran was a halloween offer here you can see again the image of the ring in the middle and it's got these cool halloween little cartoons in the background up to 60 percent off sale ends and then you've got this beautiful halloween text so you can see that these offers were created really really nicely now like i said again now it's super important for you guys to listen to this although this product itself is a hypothetical product the way we're advertising it with this type of background this type of offer this type of sale is the same as what we were running with the original product now these images that i'm showing you guys aren't quick easy images to make on canva we used mid journey to make some of the backgrounds we used dali from chat gbt to help us make this and i'll even put a print screen showing you guys the chats that we had with chat gbt to help us create these types of backgrounds so you guys get an idea of how you can work with chat gbt to make these really cool looking backgrounds that will help make your brand look super professional and high quality. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you that in Photoshop and the Halloween office is to show you because these were the different offers that we were running. So for example, this one would have been Black Friday. This one would have been Cyber Monday. And this one here would have been the Halloween offer. Now, although those dates have passed now, you could rechange these offers for, let's say, for example, marketing angle number one, marketing angle number two, marketing angle number three, or you could just stick to offer one, two, three. And the offer could be buy one, get one free. The offer could be buy one, get a free product, or the other one could be buy it and get free shipping. So those are the types of offers that you can run. And guys, I can't emphasize this enough. Offers are the most important part of your Facebook ads, including your creative. The offer is what people see on the creative. Now guys, from scaling those three offers, we basically found one that worked the best and it was the Black Friday one. So what we did is we cut all the rest out and just scaled the Black Friday offer. Now, what we also did is all the other creatives that we made whilst we were testing like the videos, we basically used all of those creatives again, but just added a Black Friday banner and image on those creatives to make them look like Black Friday creatives. Now, once we found out what 
our offer worked really well so while scaling we recreated the same campaign structure again but guess what we did this time instead of doing three different offers we stuck with the black friday offer but we made three variations of the black friday offer so we created three different landing pages one was buy one get one free one was buy one get a free product and what one of the other ones was buy the product and potentially get a hundred dollars back so basically it's the same offer but we made three different offers of the same one offer so we repeated the same whole campaign structure again which added the same black friday offer but made three different offers of that offer i hope that makes sense but that's how clever this strategy is and you can scale it very aggressive using surfing strategies so guys now i want to talk about surf scaling now how surf scaling works is you're looking at the budgets every two hours and you're adjusting them based on results so the maths and calculations that you need to use to make surf scale and work i'll put on the screen and i'll also read them out so it's the sales since last time budget raised and plus the aov equals the rough revenue made then the revenue divided by the ad spend equals the roas for the period that you were surfing now if the roas is larger than you last scaled with surfing then you carry on increasing the budget by 200 dollars. so you're increasing the budget every two hours by 200 dollars as long as the roas each time you surf is increasing over a period of time so let's say this campaign here called winning scaling is currently at 200 dollars let's say it's profitable after two hours i'm going to come back here adjust the budget again by 200 dollars now when i want to increase it again i need to check on the roas and make sure that for those last two hours because you can't calculate it by two hours in the ads manager so you have to manually calculate it you want to make sure that for the last two hours that it is a higher roas and if it is a higher roas based on the last two hours you increase it again by $200 so for example we started one campaign at $200 and we got all the way up to $5,000 a day just by using the strategy and the ROAS was increasing now if the ROAS are at a loss then you need to reduce it to the previous budget till it starts stabilizing and getting back to being a profitable ROAS campaign now if you want to be super aggressive either way you either decrease it by 40 to 50 percent or you increase it by 40 to 50 percent now let's say I get my surfing campaign up to 800 dollars at the moment and let's say it's doing really really well after two hours and then i'm going to increase it by 50 percent. so that means i'm increasing it by 400 dollars now let's say it's going the opposite way and it's not doing very well then i'm decreasing it by 400 dollars. that's the aggressive way to do surfing scaling and again the time frame is every two hours now, something else that we did with Facebook ads that everyone should do is giveaway ads. So you basically run an ad to this image here, which says win one of 50 Carmen rings, relax, stay calm, enter now. So how this works is you're running a Facebook ad to this image where you're not trying to sell anybody anything. The reason why you want them to enter this giveaway is because number one, you're going to take their email and number two, you're going to increase the chances of them buying the product. So guys, as you guys can see on the screen, this is the giveaway page that we had on the website and it says here win one of 50 piece bank calming rings they enter their name their email they enter to win and it has a countdown timer this is on a 24 hour countdown timer for every new visitor now the giveaway is legit we do actually give something away to whoever wins but those that don't win as i showed you previously they will get an email saying bad news you've not won the giveaway but you have won a 15 percent coupon code and then the day after that they'll receive another email saying don't worry we've increased your coupon code because you didn't win the giveaway and this is designed to convert people into customers now this is by far one of the most effective tools and strategies that we use to generate the success that i showed you at the start of this video now we created this form through clavio and we just enabled it through html which is super easy to do and you can find lots of tutorials on youtube and the reason why you want it through Clavio is because remember that's where your email lists are and that's where you're going to be sending emails from so you want to make sure it gets sent to the same provider so you guys can see on the screen the email marketing analytics for this store we have generated four hundred and seventy two thousand dollars from email marketing this year just on this store and in the last 30 days it's around about 50 to eighty thousand dollars guys so that's how important email marketing is so these are the top performing flows pre-new customer acquisition pre-browse abandoned abandoned car post bounce back site abandoned sms flows then if you look at the recent campaigns we're doing cyber monday cyber monday black friday black friday black friday these are event based days now again if these events aren't ready for you right now then you could do valentine's day you can do easter now this is an email marketing calendar so this is me showing you guys roughly what an email marketing calendar looks like so on november the 1st 
text-based reminder, November the 2nd, non-openers, November the 5th, about the products, November the 6th, non-reminders. So then again, November the 8th, high put Black Friday. So guys, you can see that at the start of the calendar, we're not trying to do any hard sales to people. But if you look at the end of the calendar, that's when we're starting to promote the product. So this is hyping up the product and this is warming up the list. And then this is selling to the email marketing customers. So it's very important that you follow a similar calendar. Do not sell straight away. Sell at the end of the month calendar. So guys, make sure you go and create a Klaviyo account for completely free. You want to go to flows and you want to create these two different flows. And you guys can literally copy the same ones that we are using, but just change it so it's designed for your product. So the first one's abandoned checkout and the second one is a welcome series. Now these are very, very important to warm up your audience. Now make Mail Splash out to them. They're the guys that helped me create these for this video. So make sure you check them out. Mail Splash is a company that helps you create lookalike emails to the ones that I'm showing you now. So the first one is a welcome series. So this is how it should look. Subscribe to a newsletter. So that's the action that somebody's taken. Now remember when somebody enters that product giveaway, they're going to be subscribed to the newsletter. So everyone that feeds into that are going to get introduced with these flows. So they're going to get a welcome to our family. Then it's going to wait one day. Did you forget this? Then it's going to wait three days and give them a personal message. Message. So here's email number one. Hey there, welcome to Peace Band Co, where tranquility meets elegance. We're thrilled to have you join our community. As a token of our appreciation, we're offering an exclusive 10% discount on your first purchase with code PEACE10. Use my code. Then it goes over more about our brand, the about us, and the experience that you can have. Now, if you look at this email, guys, it's very branded. It's not just one of those boring looking emails. I've used the brand colors from the brand, and I've also used brand imagery. If you guys are not personalized, in your branding and not making it look branded, then you're not going to get good success. Now, after the first day of them not taking action, they're going to get hit with this, which is we've noticed that you haven't taken advantage of the exclusive 10% discount. I want to use my code now. And you can see here, we're going over the same information in the first email, but we've reworded it. And again, the brand is still on point and we're using different graphics in this one of the two different rings that we're selling. But this is the style that we've used on the second email. Now, this is the abandoned cart sequence. So if somebody adds the cart, but doesn't buy it's going to wait 30 minutes and then it's going to give them the first email which says forgetting something and again just from opening the email the brand and the colors are on point again and it says did you forget this it looks like you left something very special in your cart we've reserved your anxiety ring just for you so it's ready whenever you are hot back to your cart why complete your purchase this is very powerful and not many people use this strategy our anxiety ring and it goes over the features and benefits don't let tranquility slip away get your anxiety ring again another call to action so in between features and talking about the brand, we have a call to action. And then after that, it just says best regards, the Peace Band Co team. Now, after three hours, if they still haven't bought, they're going to get hit with this email, which says, hello there. We noticed you haven't completed your purchase and we cannot hold your items much longer. Return to my cart. Remember, these rings are designed to offer soothing presence in your daily life. And then it goes over why you need them. Get my ring now. And then it has a warm message at the end saying the Peace Band Co team. So we've got a different message from the first email. So we're not repeating the same message and copying and pasting. They're all fresh, different emails. Now, email three is after 12 hours and it says here, hi there, this is your last chance. Your cart will expire today, but we have a 15% discount. And then it shows the three different products that we're selling. Use my code now. It's our way of saying we truly believe in the benefits of our product. This is basically us believing in our own brand. And then it goes over here, another statement of the product shop now. Then it says here, Nick, founder of the brand. So it actually says that it's a warm message from the owner and founder of the brand. That way it feels personalized to the consumer. So guys, there's three more emails that I wanna quickly show you. And these are event-based emails. So you wanna create emails like this when special events are coming up like Valentine's Day, Easter, and etc. So you can see here, the first one's called Black Friday, up to 50% off Calm Rings. Dear customer, as a value subscriber, we're thrilled to offer you an exclusive sneak peek into our Black Friday deals. Basically saying that you're getting an upfront seat at the discounts instead of everyone else. And you can see here, use Be Calm, shop now and you can see here it's going over everything one day later so day two after them not buying it's now saying that you're getting the ultimate experience of the brand by getting a 60 percent coupon code by using black 60 now the third email now this is 
post Black Friday. So this is the day before Black Friday. And again, you're trying to make the audience that are subscribed to your newsletter feel like they're getting offers before the main audience gets them. So this was three days before Black Friday. This was two days before Black Friday. And this is the day just before Black Friday. Black Friday, you missed it, but don't worry. Hire their customer. Black Friday deals are over, but we're still gonna offer you 50% off. So if people feel like they've missed out on Black Friday, they're still gonna get the offer as a loyal newsletter. So you can see here, these are event-based emails that worked extremely well for us. And they are literally the same types of emails. The only thing that's different is the images and the brand colors. Now, if you guys wanna get access to these email flows, then make sure we hit 3000 likes and it will be in the cheat sheet and in the pinned comment. So guys, I wanna just quickly give you a quick breakdown on how we set up the website and the format of the website. So you can see here, we went for some very strong color branding with this dark blue, navy blue. We went for a beautiful looking logo made through ChatGBT. And it said here, spin away stress, find your calm, had an image of the four different options of the product that we're selling and another close up of the product on the hand. And then it says here on the banner, Black Friday sell 40% off. And then it has a countdown timer of the special event that is ending. Always having an event based countdown timer always works really, really well. Then it goes over the benefits of using the product and this beautiful looking cream color background and these beautiful little icons. And then it goes over the benefits of having the anxiety ring, supporting physical health, enhancing lifestyle, enhancing coping skills as well. Then it goes over the different options that we sell the product in, gold, rose gold, silver, black, and multicolor with these beautiful little backgrounds. Then we have these really nice close-ups of somebody wearing the anxiety ring. Then we have the newsletter here, subscribe to the newsletter, that way they're flowing into our email list. Then we have a nice little video showing somebody relaxed, and this is to get them to understand that this product is designed to help them relax. Then we're going over more benefits of the products. Then we're going over some FAQs, and then we're finishing it off with some trust icons. Now, when it came to the product page, we're using a very similar layout. We're keeping it very simple and very brief. We're going over the name of the product, the offer, the reviews, in stock and ready to ship, some little features here, again, improving focus, simulation, the different colors, the description, more trust icons, more reviews, and then again, going over the benefits again. Now, that's a rough idea of how our website looked, guys. Again, this isn't the exact website. This isn't the exact product. I'm trying to give you guys a real life example of what this would have looked like on our website. Now, for those that are wondering what theme we use for the website, we actually use the free e commerce theme. Now, it's completely free for you guys to download by coming to this website. It'll be linked in the description, and you can use the exact same theme we used. It's completely free, guys. You just got to come here and follow all the steps. Steps. And as long as you follow all the steps, you can download Ecomify, which is completely free. And it's the V2 version, which is the better version. And you'll get a link sent to your email to download the theme and you can start using it. And I've also created a free YouTube video for 15 minutes teaching you guys how to set up this theme. So it looks really branded and very professional. Now, the website that I showed you guys in this video, I actually got it created by a company called Pushy. Now, this company is like the Fiverr version of dropshipping. So they specialize in e-commerce and dropshipping, and it's a lot cheaper. Now, these guys use my free theme. I gave them my free theme to use and they just built the store around that free theme. And I've stopped using Fiverr so much now because Pushy is more designed for e-commerce and dropshippers as a freelancer platform. So make sure you check them out in the link in the description to get 20% off. Now something else that's really important about the store that we had running, we were using BOGOS free gift buy X get Y free. Now this is a really powerful app that increased our average order value. Now what this app enables you to do is it enables you to basically increase the average order value by offering deals and offers through different average order values on the cart. So for example, the more they buy, the more they get in freebies or discounts. Now this app I've spoken about a lot in my video. I even created a whole dedicated video about this app. So there'll be a link in the description to this guys. So you can get a seven day free trial. And this is one of the most important apps to increase AOV. So guys, that was it for today's video on how we generated $400,000 in just 30 days during this time of the year to prove that dropshipping isn't dead going into 2024. Now, if you've appreciated all this content, guys, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. The giveaways are so important. But anyway, let me know what you thought of today's video in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.